Hey, what's up? It's Philip from Easy Unreal, and let me show you today how to create uh, this uh, environment, this game environment. Uh, it's a burnt forest. Uh, this is a beginner level tutorial, so I think uh, you will be able to follow it if you are a beginner and if this is your first time in Unreal Engine. Also, I got a comment uh, in a previous video. Uh, can you use this Mega Scans asset uh, in a game and then sell your game? The answer is yes, but only if you're using Unreal Engine. If you're using Mega Scans with Blender or uh, any other game engine, uh, check out the license. But for Unreal, we are just safe. So let's go. Let's start with the tutorial. The first step we want to do is to create a basic level. To do that, go to File, go to New Level, and click over here Basic. Click Create. We have our basic level. Just a quick tip to move around the editor, hold down the right mouse button and use the standard first person shooter keys. To go up and down, use Q and A. And while doing this, scroll the mouse wheel up and down to speed up or slow down the camera. If you are far from the object, use F to focus. To move objects, press W key and use the arrows. To rotate, press E key. And to scale it, press R. All these options are available at the top right corner. You can check all these shortcuts and more in the description below. Ok, you now know how to uh, navigate the Unreal Engine. Now let's uh, delete this floor because we will create a landscape. And to do that, uh, click this uh, floor in the outline and just hit and delete and go on the top left corner, click over here landscape. You can just leave everything as it is, uh, except the location. You can set the location to be 0, 0, 0 and hit create. OK, if I go back to selection and over here, right click and play from here, you can see our level. It's a bit flat, so we'll, we'll add some bumps and some hills and something like that. But first, let's add uh, some assets. Uh, most of all, we add the landscape material. To do that, go to the bridge. You can go over here on the plus button and click Quixel Bridge and it will open it up. Just make sure to log in. And over here, we can go to, on the left side, go to Collections, go to Environment, go to Natural, and over here you can see burnt forest and we have a nice collection of uh, assets over here. We'll add some burnt forest floor. So choose which one you like it. I will go with this uh, burnt forest floor and I will use just one uh, material. But if you want to learn how to paint multiple ma materials, you can check out this video. It will show you how to do it. So let's click this burnt forest floor and you can just click over here, download. Under here you can choose the quality. I'll go with medium. And now just click over here, export medium quality, and it will add you to the uh, Unreal Engine. You can see uh, over here under Mega Scans surfaces this forest floor. And now make sure to select your landscape and scroll down a bit until you see the landscape material. And now just drag and drop this material over here. And we need to wait for a few seconds. And you can see your uh, floor material. If I hit play from here, we can see that our materials is small. So you need to make it bigger to, to look it uh, to look uh, more really. So go to uh, double click on your material. I will dock it here. And you can see this tiling offset. Just uh, expand it and you can see tiling. Okay, let's go to 0 0.1. You can just type in 0 0.1. It's save as in the 0 0.1. Click save. And now it looks even better. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to uh, scroll out a bit, go to the selection, go to the landscape mode or shift 2 and go to the sculpt. Over here you can sculpt your landscape. So let's under this brush uh, type you can leave it as it is and increase the tool strength and brush size. And you can make some uh, bumps, hills and something like this. So you can just go over here and paint something. If I go and hit play from here, it uh, looks uh, better. OK, go back to bridge and we need to add some uh, tree stumps, logs, dead trees, dead herbs and so on. The first thing we want to do is to add some uh, dead uh, herb weed and we will use the paint uh, foliage paint tool. To do that, uh, we will select this and you can do the same procedure. But let's check it out if this mega scans uh, works like this. Uh, select first, hold control, select second and third, for example. And let's click over here, download. So apparently this works. You can hold control key on your keyboard and just select your asset here, download, and it will download them all. And now let's hit add. OK, and now our herbs are added over here, as you can see. This one, this one, and this one. OK, maybe we just over overdo this because we add uh, too much herbs, but uh, who cares? The more the merrier. So let's paint our herbs on this um, 
environment. To do that, go over here to the foliage. And you can see Unreal already imported our foliage. It automatically detects that this is this is foliage. So to uh, enable it, select the first one and uh, hold Shift to select the last one and enable it over here. You, you need to see this check mark, blue check mark. Okay. And now we can paint our herbs. If you go paint and see it over here, it looks a bit dense. So let's spread it a bit uh, to delete. Just hold Shift and paint to uh, delete the herbs. I will change the pen paint density to 0 0.01. If you go down, scroll down, you can see the density over here. This is, says 100, so let's make it, I don't know, 50. And uh, make the scaling to be, for example, for, from 0 0.8 to 1.2. Okay, this will add some randomization in size of your foliage. So let's paint it over here. Okay, I'm painting, but you don't see anything because I'm too far away. If I go back to selection and click play from here, you can see our foliage over here. Okay, okay, we can make this a bit denser. Denser, so we go over here and change the density. And oh, for example, we will play game from here. For example, from here. Move player start where you want uh, to be, just uh, select the player start position over here in the outliner, right click on it and click snap objects to view. Boop. And when you snap it, you can see your uh, start position over here. If I click play, I will be here and you can just go W and move this down on or hit end on your keyboard to drop it down, hit play and we are in our environment. Okay, the next thing is uh, to add uh, some trees. We will do this, uh, the same thing as we do, did with the foliage. So we go to the bridge and over here we choose some trees. For example, this, that tree, hold control, burnt tree trunk over here, this one, stump. And I think this will be good. You can see your assets on the right side, click download and just hit over here, add, add them to the project. And we can see these 3D assets over here. Okay, we'll now add these assets to the foliage paint tool, but uh, you can see it's in a different folder. So we need to one by one drag it. You don't want to do that to waste your time. Just select the 3D assets, go to the filter and check this scaled st static mesh, I'm sorry. And you can see all your static meshes over here. Select them all with control and drag and drop them over here to the foliage type. You can see them over here. Now select them all, select one of them, control A and Deselect them because we we don't want to paint uh, foliage. We want to paint over here. So you can select them by holding Control and select the four of them. And if I put it, you can see it over here. So we need to change the density to be, for example, 50. It's too much already. Like 10, 10 will be just fine. okay. And we now just paint it over here like this. And if I hit play, we now have something that resembles a level. We can also go back to the bridge and select some uh, burnt wood. For example, uh, we can add add some burnt firewood, firewood, firewood. We can add the five of these and click download. And you know, you know the procedures, just click add and we will add it over here. And we need to add them to the this uh, foliage paint tool is the same thing go to the tree, the assets, static mesh is already selected. So we don't uh, have the problems. We are in a foliage mode, go here and just add this, this, this. We downloaded again, a lot of these things. So um, if you want, you can just download one and play with it just to learn the basics. But if you want, you can download just like me, the 5,000 of them. And the procedure is the same. Select all, unselect this, uncheck this, and now select only this burnt firewood. Okay, select them and paint. Are they even here? Oh, oh, something is wrong. And I think I found the problem. You can see it over here. This is super small. So we need to change this and go down and change the scale, for example, to be five by five, just to check it out. Okay, the density of three is looking just fine. Okay, this looks better now if I hit play. You can see your forest over here. 
you use this uh, full edge paint tool uh, for this environment. If you want to uh, try something else, you can check out this PCG uh, tutorial so you can use procedurally generated content and think it's better if you have more uh, flexibility with that. But for beginner tutorial like this, I think it's fine. Uh, the next thing uh, we want to do is to add some lightning. Uh, first of all, we need to get rid of the exposure. To do that, go to selection tool and type in post process volume. Just click it and you can see the box. Make sure to click this post process volume and under the search type in infinite and select this infinite extent. Make sure it's unbound. And uh, if uh, this infinite extent is unbound, this means it will affect the whole level, not just this uh, the area within this box. And let's go now type in exposure and metering mode, enable it make it manual and exposure compensation you can just play with this until you find the perfect number under post process volume you can type in blue go type method make convolution okay we will now go to the exponential height fog to add some fog just uh, select exponential height fog and type in volumetric fog this will uh, remove the blue tint with this extinction scale you can add some fog to your level and it will look nicer like this and if I go under the albedo you can change the color for example if you want to make this uh, green some kind of uh, you know apocalypse uh, the nice trick over here is to use this emissive just select this emissive and uh, change the color over here like this click OK and you can now play with extinction scale to add or remove this fog if I hit play uh, I think this looks pretty nice. And uh, the last thing to do is to click this directional light and hit Control L. And you can uh, change the direction of sun. So it can make nice uh, creepy environment uh, like this. Okay, move your light with uh, Control L uh, until you find the, the, what you like. And if I go play and F11 from here, uh, you, can see your, uh, you can see your level. You can see your uh, God rays over here. Let's review our level and see what it can be done better. For example, we can change the landscape material and we can paint it to make it uh, more uh, realistic. Also, we can add some displacement to make it more real. Uh, you can check out the displacement tutorial here. And of course, we can make these trees a little bit bigger and these uh, foliage, these uh, uh, a little smaller. And this is it. If you find this helpful, let me know in the comments uh, below and uh, check my other beginner friendly tutorials. If you like them, uh, leave a uh, leave like, uh, subscribe for the new one and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.